okay guys so uh, we'll be talking the second problem about the second problem of this bi-weekly contest to uh, 71 right okay so partition array according to the given pi watt so this is actually this problem and here is the same interface okay so yeah so it is the medium problem like uh, i don't consider it as a medium problem but yeah like uh, when you try to solve in o of one space then that could be a tricky point to solve this problem then i can say it is a medium problem otherwise this is nothing but an implementation problem okay so its index is 2161 so let's begin so we'll be given a zero indexed integer array nums and an integer pi watt rearrange nums such that the following conditions are satisfied okay so whatever the element that is less than the pi watt appears before every element greater than the pi watt and every element equal to pi watt appears in between the elements less than and greater than the pi watt and the relative order of the element less than the pi watt and the elements greater than the pi watt is maintained okay and return nums after the arrangement okay so if you're not going to understand this entire statement let me explain you in simpler words okay so first of all let's look over the constraints you can see nums length is 10 raised to the power pi and uh, yeah nums of pi is going to hold this value it doesn't matter any value it can have okay so we would be having o of n time and o of n space solution so let's first understand what does this problem is going to signify okay so let me just erase this all yeah mm -hmm. so this was for the previous question okay so suppose we have an array let me pick out this example 9 12 5 10 14 5 10 14 3 and 10 3 and 10 okay yeah and my pi watt is actually 10 okay so the problem asks you to uh, find out uh, this rearrangement of this one so we need to rearrange the numbers rearrange the numbers okay so the rearrangement is something like this one you have a pi watt okay and all the elements which are less than this pi watt let me write on all elements will come to the left hand side of this pi watt like suppose it is 10 you can see the value is 10 so let's iterate from the left hand side and find out those elements which are less than the value 10 you can see 9 so 9 will come over here and 12 is greater 5 5 is smaller than 10 you will say it 5 will come over here now next 10 is equal to pi watt so we are not going to consider that 14 is greater than the pi watt and 3 is also smaller than the pi watt so you have the elements uh, that is going to be the on the left side of this pi watt as 953 okay note that the relative order of the number should be maintained right what is this term you can see the relative order of the number should be maintained for those numbers which are less than the pi watt strictly less and strictly more so the concept is like suppose these three numbers are less than the pi watt right and the relative order means 9 comes before 5 and 5 comes before 3 right so this order must be maintained in our actual answer array okay so you cannot write 953 as uh, 5 9 and 3 or you cannot write this as 3 9 5 these two values uh, in the answer uh, like answer vector is going to be wrong why because the relative order is not matching with respect to original array you can see in our answer array let's suppose we have this arrangement so 5 comes before 9 but in our actual one 9 comes before 5 this is wrong okay so this is our actual answer for all those elements which are less than strictly less than the pi watt okay so the order of uh, numbers must be uh, same as the in the original ones okay now if this is done let's try to find out those elements which are equal to pi watt 10 10 so you will place 10 and this 10 okay now comes the next thing all the elements which are greater than pi watt greater than so in that case what you are going to do is like you will iterate again from the left side why am i iterating from the left side because the relative order of elements must be matching okay so 12 
and 14 okay so you will write down 12 and then followed by 14 you cannot write down 14 and 12 this is also a valid one but this is not satisfying what is being asked in the problem statement because uh, 14 comes before 12 but in our actual one 12 comes before 14 okay so this is actually wrong let me write down wrong and this is correct so you need to do this thing so the basic approach would be you will take an extra answer uh, like answer uh, vector so the first you will iterate from left to right left to right and push out all those elements which are strictly less than pi watt so you will write down nums of i is strictly less than pi watt why am i iterating from left to right because the relative order of the elements must be matching okay in with respect to original vector the elements present in our original vector so you will iterate from left to right and push out those element nums of i which is strictly less than pi watt then again you will iterate from left to right and push out all those elements which are exactly matching with pi watt nums of i okay and then again you are going to iterate from left to right and you are going to push out all those elements which are nums of i which are satisfying this criteria nums of i greater than pi watt so you are I going to iterate three times so o of 3n which is actually nothing but o of n and the extra space would be taken is o of n so this is actually tc and this is actually sc okay so this is all about but let's try to understand this with the help of a coding part you can see i've got i've got a wrong answer also i need to show this code also because like yeah initially i was trying to implement the o of uh, one space approach and uh, yeah i'm getting the wrong answer uh, because uh, this cannot be done in o of one space you need to have an uh, extra array to maintain that okay so let's look out the o of n time and o of n space code so time complexity will be o of n space complexity will be o of n because we are maintaining an extra answer vector of size n and uh, we are iterating the entire array three times so yeah first i will push out all those elements which are strictly less than pi watt then equal to pi watt and this strictly greater than the pi watt so this will give you all test cases passed so if you guys have still any doubts do reach out to, uh, do reach out to us in the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video